Okay, I just watched Tokyo Ghoul episode one, and god damn, that shit was awesome, man. I can't wait to fucking see what, like, how this series progresses, man. That was completely awesome. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. So basically, what the series is about, what I'm getting right there, like two separate beings of human, I'm assuming, the ghouls who are human-like in every way except their dietary habits and stuff like that and that sense of taste um the ghouls consume corpses you know human corpses and that supposedly sustains them for at least a month or two so they would have to eat as much as a human does they can only they can eat for maybe you know one body and that'll be good for about two months so they almost got snake like quality in a way but um the main character man that dude uh, i'm trying to remember his name because she kept saying Mr. Kata something. It begins with a K. I'm trying to remember his fucking name. But that dude, that his, his like, character shows, like, how the pursuit of women, especially for us males, can just really fuck you up, son. I mean, like, this dude really pursued a woman to try to go on a date. <laughs> he was trying to go on a date with this Rize character. Rize, Risa, Rize, R I Z E. He was trying to go on a date with her. And he ends up being bitten in the shoulder. And then he loses some internal organs. And then she is like crushed to death by these girders in a construction site. And. The doctor decides to take her organs out of her body and put them in his body. So it's not like he's a half ghoul. He can develop these ghoul-like abilities and stuff, but he still maintains some semblance of his humanity. So I'm just like, what the fuck? All of this really because he wanted to go on a date with a girl. Like that. that's that's so fucked up. Could you imagine that shit? That's all you want to do. I mean, like, could you imagine that shit? Like, 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 not to be morbid, man. But how many times do you think someone went out with a serial killer just thinking they were gonna find love, and then they end up being murdered? You know what I'm saying? So, like, could you imagine that shit, though? You imagine that shit. You looking for something as innocent as love, or even something as you know primitive as like lust. You looking for something like that. And you wind up dead? Like, when I saw that shot, I was just like, oh, man. Like, I knew it was going to happen, too. I, I just knew it. I was just like, oh, man, this dude, like, this date not going to go the way he think. I was like, I can already tell that this woman is the same woman that they talking about on the news. She's the woman who they keep looking for. I already know it. Because she's like a binge eater. They don't need to eat that much. Just keep killing people throughout the day because it's purely orgasmic for her. So I was just like, oh, man, like, it's not going to end good for this guy. I kept saying, I said, no, nah, bro. It's not going to end right for you. And lo and behold, he gets fucked up. You know, that, I would have whooped that doctor's ass. That guy would have, I would have whooped his ass. I'm not going to lie to you. I would have beat the shot of that guy. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, man, this show, ridiculous, man. I can't wait to see how this shit develops because I know nothing about this series. Um, I was just looking at, like, some of the stuff that was coming out during the summer. And I was just like, I'm going to watch this. And when it came on again, I wasn't here. I was in New Orleans. But it came out. Oh, excuse me. But it came out, and I was just like, okay, I'm back home. Now I'm going to watch it. And I watched it, and now I was just like, because it was just so much blood, man. Animation was amazing. And that one part, particularly, when he bites down on his finger like this, the look on his face, I was like, yeah, they spent quite a bit of money. You know what I'm saying? They spent quite a bit of money on this series, especially when it comes to detail and facial animation because the pain in his eyes, you know what I'm saying, the expression here was just like so sincere that I was just like, in episode one, I was like, yeah, I can tell that this kid is really trying to hold on to what makes him a human 
but he might not be able to. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's struggling with that shit. Now I'm just like, Mom, this is going to be good as fuck. I can already tell you, this is going to be good as fuck. This is going to be drama mixed in with, like, some dark type of horror type of shit, man. Because, you know, having to eat humans, that means that you got to kill them. And then eat them. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, the struggle between the ghouls themselves, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a hierarchy, apparently. Amongst the ghouls, because that dude, um, Nishio, I think that was his name. Nishio, I think. The guy with the glasses or whatever. Like, he's choking uh, Kaneki, and then he's like, hey, man, you used to out of my territory type of shit. So I'm just like, okay. You know what I'm saying? I was like, wow. But then that girl, Toka, who was the waitress in the restaurant, she comes and rescues Kaneki, but she also makes him eat, like, some human flesh. So I was just like, Man, like this dude, this shit is awesome. This is gonna be a better review the next time I fucking watch the next episode. You know what I'm saying? But right now, I'm just really giving my two cents on the shit that I just saw because I've just now seen it, but it's already been out for a few days, I think. But holy shit, holy shit, so much blood. I mean, when the episode first starts off, I was like, wow, this girl is getting the D put to her. <laughs> because of the, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just sounded like she was just, like, coming, like, right from the start of the episode, you know what I'm saying? But she was just dripping in blood, and that was her, um, you know what I'm saying? Her way of releasing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? I guess, you know what I'm saying? Because she was just so into it, man, killing these people, man. Like, oh, shit. I don't know exactly what it's going to go. I'm pretty sure it's going to be connecting. It's going to be the guy who's, like, he tries to maintain his humanity while at the same time being intertwined in the uh, situation with the ghouls and the situation with the ghouls versus the government and all that type of stuff. Uh, we still haven't gotten an explanation as to how the ghouls came about, but again, it's episode one, so I wasn't expecting this shit, you know. But man, uh, this episode was fucking ridiculous, man. The series is, it seems like right now, especially in episode one, that it is uh, quite amazing, man. Quite amazing. Uh, this is Bachelor and Peace time. Y'all let me know what you think about Tokyo Ghoul. Let me know what you thought about episode one. Let me know what you think about the characters so far. Are they good? Let me know what you think about the animation. I personally love it. Um, let me know what you think about this series as a whole. If you read it, is it worth the read? Because I'm going to read it afterwards. You know, man, like I've done with everything that I've watched so far. So just let me know, man. Bachelor and Peace. Go on.